Hey, it's night. And welcome to my channel. So today I want to go back and give another, um, not a review, but like a recap of the Mind Games Light Sample Set. So this retails for about $175, which I think ends up being like $186, $188 after like taxes and stuff. Just under $200 basically. And it comes with five fragrances correct five fragrances some sample strips like so you can spray the fragrances on there and i just want to go through because i dropped i think two three weeks ago the video of my review of this but i've had this for almost a month i feel like i bought it and then i've reviewed it i think a week or two after already having it so anyway, if you're interested in that keep on watching and we're just gonna get right into it so one of them <laughs> was actually my sense of the day today so i'm going to grab it out of my purse um, and one thing I have been doing recently is making sure to grab not necessarily of one fluid ounce or like a full size, but like more like a travel spray or a sample of something. Um, so not only does it come with the five actual sprays, it comes with this like travel thing, like you can travel with it and you know it's not going to leak all over the place. And which I love, it says mind games, it's clear, whatever, simple thing. Today, so what i guess let's talk about this because this one's my favorite one i think i had the most positive things to say about my first impressions of this this one um this one is blockade which is um like a like a mango like a green mango fragrance now i say green mango the mango is not green the mango is definitely juicy here as you can see i think this is my biggest dent um this is i think the only one i feel like i could just spray like i just spray it kind of slightly buck wild i am gonna put out the fact that i didn't these don't last as long as i thought they would because i feel like these are x rays but i could be wrong don't quote me they um but they do last a decent amount of time so I'm just being honest here. The price point is quite high for these fragrances. So these are just, I'm just being blunt. Um, I might be a little more rough than other people because there are a lot of great fragrances at a much better price point. Um, now I gotta give Mind Games, their presentation is absolutely immaculate. Now whether or not you actually, that matters to you when it comes to, or the juice matters to you or both matter to you, that's up to you. But Blockade is the a juicy mango with greenness in there. I'm not going to like read these notes to you or whatever because this is just like me giving you how I feel about it. This is about a four to five hour projector. And then it's basically a skin scent for the next four hours, um, which is not bad. I put this on at eight o'clock in the morning and it is 148. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 almost two so it's almost six hours and i definitely still smell it but it's definitely not like other people are not going to smell it unless they're on top of me and that super juicy smell of the mango is gone now you're just getting like a like a nondescript type of like fragrance smell like it's almost like it could be your skin but better type of smell but i still really love this because like, I'll just have this. I'll just carry it around with me and I'll respray. Like, around this time, the five to six hour mark, I'll go ahead and respray her. Oh, but it doesn't give me a headache. It doesn't turn me off. It's just juicy, lovely mango with the slight green touches to it. Now, the next one. Okay, so there's two that are in the, okay, I, well, okay, let me just go with this one. So this next one is Checkmate. This, I like this. However, let's talk about it. Checkmate, okay, I shouldn't have resprayed that mango because it is booming in my face right now, guys. Because that's the thing, like I said, for four to five, uh, five, for around five hours, it really projects um, for sure gonna rip this up because i only have two of these sample thingies left one left now that i'm using this but so this is i like this this to me is nice but for the scent profile which is is is, is um like a tobacco like a drop like okay just like a tobacco 
just powdery to me type of smell that has a slight like not booze but kind of boozy aspect to it they're much more affordable or not much affordable but more affordable fragrances that will give you the vibe maybe the tobacco is wet or sweeter or whatever but i i wasn't like it's a nice scent and i'm definitely gonna use it but this one to me is is a nice fragrance just because it's a very dry tobacco and there's not a whole lot of sweetness in it but the, it is there there's something definitely slightly like aromatic not aromatic maybe fresh about this that i think is going to work in the warmer weather if you lightly spray it i really can only smell the mango right now i like this i only wore it like twice though because I, it's just not earth shattering to me i think a man would like this i think a person um that wants that tobacco smell without it like like perhaps you walked into a room in which tobacco leaves were and that light very light delicate slightly powdery smell stuck to you it's a nice smell i like it um i don't i don't know if i would have called this one checkmate i probably would have called the mango one checkmate because it's checkmate but i did like this one it was it was good the projection of longevity is trash on me okay it gives about i just don't think this is a projecting type of smell i get about two hours maybe of like i feel like other people could smell me and then it's a skin scent and then it's gone after five hours so yeah now on your clothes all of these could last well into like the next day on your clothes i'm talking about skin when i'm telling you how long it's gonna last but yeah so that one's okay the next the next one i actually did quite like however i feel like this one this is um a Sully's diamond which is it's a smoke it's it's, it's a smoky fragrance um i like this one but I couldn't overspray. Oh, well, you can see I've, I've worn this one a little bit more than the other one. I couldn't overspray this because this one gave me a headache. There's something in here that if I do too much when I want it to project, project, it gives me a headache. Um, so that really sucked. So I have to spray this light and no, I just won't super smell it. However, this compared to everything else is a powerhouse fragrance that could be possibly because I'm so sensitive to it, right? Because it'll give me a headache, but I can smell this on my skin 10 plus hours guys 10 plus hours. I, I had to scrub some of it off of it off of my skin because it was giving me a little bit of headache and i still smelt it y'all but it smells good something in it just agitates me but this is just like a smoky smell and not sweet like a fresh smoky like how somehow they made the smoke in this fresh um so it just smells like nothing burned like like it doesn't smell like this, but I'm just giving you, like, an example. But, like, you know how you can smoke f meat? And nothing smells burned, but you have that smoke. It doesn't smell like meat, but that smoke that's not burned. And nothing is roasting on it. It's just, like, a fresh, smoky vibe that's very sexy, actually. But there, that, that freshness sometimes is slightly sharp. But this is the longest one. This is definitely, I think, the longest-lasting fragrance. And it, and it projects it projects i feel like it projects basically the entire time it's on my skin which is 10 plus hours but let's just say for sugars and giggles maybe eight hours it's projecting and this is a asuli's diamond this is castling this is just like a i like this one but i didn't wear it like that let me tell you why okay i like this one however a lot it definitely is like a creamy like a slightly sp sparkle sparkling smell i don't think i smelled when i first was wearing it i'm first testing out i like this one it's not for me though i want to gift this to somebody but i also don't because this was an expensive set um but i also don't want it to go bad because i'm just holding on to it so i don't know what i'm gonna do this is something i feel like that's very classy very sophisticated I wouldn't really per se put an age to it, but it definitely gives upscale. There's absolutely 
no sweetness in here though i feel like i'm i feel like i smelled a little bit a sweetness from castling but maybe i don't know so there's fig in here and maybe there is very very touch touch but it's just such a luxe smelling fragrance but this is a luxe smelling fragrance that does not project in the essence that you're used to you know that wispiness that uh baccarat rouge kind of gives like you feel like sometimes you won't smell it and then other times you can. I feel like this is it. It's not an airy smell like Baccarat, but that I can't smell it. Oh no, I smell it. Oh, is kind of what Castling gives, but it's a nice smell. And I feel like sometimes I'm like, mm, is that kind of a little sweetness? No, absolutely not. It's green. No, nope, it's got a little sweetness. Mm, I don't know. But it just, I don't know. I just wouldn't wear this on a day to day. And when I go on to like a date with my husband, he likes the sweeter scent. So like, this isn't something like, even if we like so our anniversary is coming up next month and if we go somewhere nice this wouldn't be one i grab even though we both like it it's just i don't know just not for me but i like it and i would offer up castling to anyone who likes a figgy like there's a slight creaminess texture in here there's a definitely a, a woody vibe for sure it's giving to be fair if you like carnal gray you might like this one but carnal gray to me oh is deeper so like it's like carnal gray's um cousin like older cousin right so carnal gray i think is up like i think it's just grown so everybody's grown in this grouping here but like grown a little less t t he he a, like not that this was t t he he this was always serious to me but this is even more serious but there was a sexiness in here that is absent in this the more i smell it because it's it's just giving up scale it's giving almost like like um you would wear that coco like chanel not coco you'd wear like that chanel like um button up thing with the skirt and like i don't know there's something about this that just doesn't read me although i would wear that outfit but i don't know it just doesn't read me right now um so that's castling and it might read me in in the future you know what i mean and then the last i want to talk about was Kaisa. Kaisa is my least favorite one and i think this is my least favorite one this i did not i wore it one time i don't like this at all now this is not a bad scent this is just okay here's my thing i say it's not a bad scent however and i say that because i really don't think any of these are bad scents this is 120 percent just not me like i can appreciate castling and know it's not for me this low-key i don't think i'm old enough for this there's something feminine about this. There's something, um, I don't know. Like, I like it, but not a lot. Um, I feel like I want to save that for as I get older, but is this going to last that long before it starts to turn bad? I don't know. I like it, but not a lot. It smells like a maj paj of stuff. Like, you know how some people feel like, um, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. It smells like just a mod podge of stuff. That's what Kaisa smells like to me. And I just was confused when I was wearing it. Like I was like, mm, maybe it's just my nose is not discerning what I'm smelling enough. So I'm just like, it smells nice. Perhaps you know what it is. I also feel like I would like to smell this in a room more than on my body. Um, and Kaisa is a like white gardenia ylang ylang i don't really smell like a tropical smell to, i don't know it's just a confusing smell for me let me know if you tried any of these scents um blah, blah, blah. i feel like i've had this for about three or four weeks now guys i don't know when i dropped the video of it but i feel like i've had this for three or four weeks now at minimum and i've, I've tried but like i said i would if i had to rank it oh um definitely blockade with that mango oh then i would say check me and us i don't know i think i would go black aid the asuli's diamond with that there's smoke that's not burned then checkmate with like that tobacco bourbon-esque type of smell 
then castling and then kaisa but castling and kaisa just aren't for me like at all but blockade is definitely number one here and i would i i like it a lot but the price is what throws me the price point of it's absolutely disgusting so i think i would wait for it to like hit discounting websites before i would even like look into actually owning a bottle like i would own the mango skin by philham perfumery before i get that and i would put them in like the same category like that you see mango they have i feel like both i don't think it would be redundant to have both of them but like that juicy mango and then different aspects you know like with mango skin being like that red winey and then the mango and then like blockade being like a mango and then like some greenness in there it's just they're both wonderful juicy mangoes though so yeah thank you so much for watching this whole video let me know if you tried any of the mind games i ouch i would say this is worth it for those of you who are gonna like at least three of the five fragrances in here go try them out though you can definitely try it out in the store um mind games is available in the store i wouldn't blind buy this i would not blind buy this um so i did try it so yeah anyway that's all i really have to say about it i'm really happy i own it i also think it's just very pretty <laughs> so yeah let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about any of them um are you interested in any of them did interest spark in you based on how i described any of them let's talk about it, talk about it blah, 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 down in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching this whole video bye bye